Right, uh, so quickly, uh, we're going uh, live to uh, Zabarjan to speak to the president of the uh, Debate Gambia Association, uh, Mr. Mustafa Ka, who is out of the Gambia, though, but is following situations there. Uh, Mr. Ka, so if you can hear me, uh, we're grateful that you uh, have joined us. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. And now, uh, Senegalese troops, Nigerian troops, are moving to the Gambia, and they are vowing, actually, to enforce... Uh, election results. Is this the end in sight for Jame and uh, will he go without a fight? Well, there are very, uh, the, the latest information uh, that has been uh, coming out of Banjul has been, uh, we've received a lot of interesting information since the last time we spoke. Mm. Um, because there are many, many things being said at the moment um, that by people on the ground. And I think one of the things that your viewers will be very interested uh, to know is that uh, we are told the Mauritanian president has arrived in the Gambia to, uh, to take Jami, uh, to take him out of the country. So that is the latest information. I see. So uh, which means that despite the show of resistance by Yahya Jame, he's actually uh, negotiating his way out of the country to Mauritania. So if this happens to be confirmed and finally Jame leaves the country, you think that it will pave way for uh, Barros inauguration tomorrow in Gambia or it will still take place in Senegal? Well, the information uh, 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 that we got from the uh, coalition spokesperson, Mr. Halifa Sala, today was that uh, the inauguration would no longer take place in the Gambia. Um, so, um, but I think Jame himself, as I've always maintained in this program, mm -hmm. is that uh, Jame himself is in a very precarious situation. Um, there was a recording, private recording, of the chief of defense staff in the past few days who was um, speaking to civilians and telling them that they have nothing to worry and that the army was not going to defend Jame. And also, as we speak right now, all of his cabinet, well, with, with the exception of, of two or three people, have deserted him. So Jami has no government. Uh, even the vice president, uh, who has been a very staunch uh, supporter of him for the past 22 years, has stepped down, has resigned, has tendered her resignation. Uh, so Jami, Jami is alone uh, as we speak. Uh, he has no government. Uh, very few people supported him. So. Obviously, it is undoubted that uh, Mr. Adam Abaro obviously who is, is, is going to be president. Mm, but but this, this show of optimism you are portraying to us, is that the reflection of the entire Gambian population? Are Gambians hopeful that come tomorrow, yeah, um, Adam Abaro will be sworn in as president-elect, yes, as president Gambians of Gambia? The information that we got from the coalition spokesperson, Mr. Halifa Sala, was that in fact um, there were a lot of people, thousands of people who were already planning to attend the inauguration if it were to be held uh, tomorrow. And, and it is not tentative though the, that uh, the inauguration may not be held in the Gambia. And uh, part of the things he said is that they would be getting to the public to, to tell us uh, the venue for the uh, inauguration. But, I, as I, I've always been very optimistic that Jame uh, himself is not going to survive this, and, and the developments in the country in the past few days have uh, fuel optimism among people that uh, eventually they would uh, have a government, the very government that they elected, uh, and we Jame re rejected, uh, leading, to, um, leading to the chaos that has been happening in the past uh, few days. And one thing that has been imagined is also um, some of the absconded ministers have been talking about why Jame decided to, um, uh, to actually rescind um, the earlier pronouncement he made that he was going to, uh, he was going to accept the, the results of the elections. Now, uh, I'm sure you may have followed uh, some years back when 40 Ghanaians and other African nationals were, were murdered in cold blood in the Gambia. And these have fueled fears among uh, other African countries that troops that are loyal to Jame could begin to attack citizens of African countries and uh, who will uh, participate in the operation to oust him. Are these fears real? Well, you can never discount um, Jame because obviously you may not know uh, how he's going to react. Um, there are rumors that mercenaries are on the ground, although these are not confirmed yet. But 
uh, some top sources uh, are, 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 are actually circulating this rumor. So, but Jame is a very dangerous man, and I think the only one that the only time anybody can be safe from him is when he's actually out of power and is is put to trial for the crimes that that he has committed. So, uh, 42 Ghanaians died, and it's very tragic. But also think about uh, other nationals who have died. Americans disappeared. American Gambian citizens came to the country. They were nowhere to be seen. Uh, Gambians have died probably in the thousands uh, under his rule. He has purged the military, killed many innocent people, including journalists. Um, so that is the situation. And as I've always maintained, uh, it, is, it, is everybody, it is in everybody's interest that Jamal leaves office um, so that in the, we can finally have peace, uh, or at least if he leaves office, we would have one less dictator in the sub-region. Mm, so, so Mr. 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 Carr, let's focus a little bit on uh, what you just told us, that the Mauritanian president is in Gambia to take Jame away with him. Uh, what, what have you been told are the plans for Jame's exit? Will he uh, declare the seat vacant and vacate within the 90-day emergency? Or he will just go, just like that. Have you been told what the strategy will be? Well, I mean, the 90-day 90, the 90 um, declaration by the National Assembly violated the Constitution because the National Assembly doesn't have the right to override the, the Constitution. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. And the Constitution has laid out uh, procedures upon which uh, uh, elections can be conducted for the uh, presidency. And the 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 only people the only people to 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 decide the fate of the country are the citizens of the gambia and they voted and they voted for adam abaro so um the 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 90 day extension by the national assembly was actually of no essence it it, it, it had no value in the eyes of the ordinary citizen in the gambia and they didn't think it was going to be respected uh, um, by them so I mean, so that's the precarious condition or situation right. that Jami has found himself in. I mean, the very institutions that he used, he has been using for the past 22 years to uh, enslave Gambians and to commit atrocities such as the killing of Ghanaians have turned up, have turned against him. Now he doesn't have uh, the support of the population. The National Assembly members are, in fact, discredited. I mean, no, no law can can have value if it is not supported by people, and people have refused to actually support uh, the, the, the declaration. Now, but I think we, we also need to be a bit cautious here about the information. As I said, it's not confirmed, That's but right. this is what is, has been circulating um, among the local population. In fact, there were recordings of him leaving town, but that's still not confirmed. But that's still there not is confirmed. a likelihood that Jame is not, is not going to stay and witness the intervention by the ECOWAS, uh, ECOMOC troops. Because right. despite the fact, uh, he would come to the conclusion that his position uh, is no longer tenable. Even his mom, his own mother, uh, tried to speak to him, tried to reason with him uh, to, to step down. And he definitely would not listen to his mom. But as I said, now that uh, almost 90% of the ministers have left him, uh, the parliament, uh, uh, the decisions of the parliament are not supported by the people. Plus the unprecedented international pressure uh, that has been mounted against him, including right, the Mexico. intervention, uh, the proposed intervention by ECOWAS, which is almost on the way, right. um, would actually tell him that his best shot is to vacate that position and, and allow the, pres uh, in the president elect, Mr. Adam Abaro, to come into power. Right, because uh, even if he stays for those 90 days, how is Jami actually going to run government? He doesn't have a civil service. In some quarters, salaries have not been paid to certain civil service, servants. So that is the situation that he, he finds himself in. Right. Uh, Mr. Mustafa Kaa, we're grateful for your time. And thank you very much. Uh, Mustafa Kaa is the president of the Debate Gambia Association. And you heard him there. News coming in, and although unconfirmed, is that uh, the Mauritanian president is in the Gambia. And uh, there are rumors that he is in to take Yahya Jame with him to Mauritania. And there are also uh, videos circulating, according to the Gambia Debate Association, that uh, Jame may have left the country. But all these are unconfirmed, and uh, TV3 cannot independently verify though but uh, this is still news at 10